Hey, what's up guys, it's Yvonne. And in this video, I wanna show you how to set up your payment integration with Kartra. Because at this point in our free course, we want to create a product, right? We wanna integrate the product, but to do that, we first need to integrate our payment gateway. So for this video, I'm gonna show you how to do PayPal and Stripe as those are the most popular and the ones I personally use. But if you want to integrate anything else, I will show you roughly what you should be looking out for and how to set it up, all right? So the first thing we wanna do is click on integrations over here. And let me give you the basic idea. So if you have something other than PayPal or Stripe, let's like for example here Square, you can click here, you can click on new integration and you can read their technical documentation. So for the most part, it's gonna consist of connecting. So logging in to your account and then looking for a certain code, okay? Looking for a certain secret key, so to speak. That's for the most part what it's gonna consist of. So let me show you how to do it here with Stripe, first of all. So I'm gonna click on new integration here with Stripe, and it just asks us to get our secret key and publishable key. So what I'm gonna do here is log into my Stripe account, and I'm gonna show you where to get those details. All right, and so here I am inside my test Stripe account. So you wanna click on developers here at the top, and you wanna click on API keys. And what you need is your publishable key and your secret key over here. So you need the publishable key and secret key. So you should have the publishable key here. However, if you don't have the secret key, I'll show you how to create that as well. So all you're gonna do is click to copy this publishable key, come over here and paste it here. So Control C, Control V. And now we just need the secret key. So I already created this Kartra secret key right over here. Um, now when you get the secret key, you only get to see it one time, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this key here. And I'm just gonna create another secret key in case you don't currently have one. So you're just gonna click on create secret key. You do wanna select this option over here because if you select this option, they give you a restricted key option, but that is not enough. You do need the secret key. You're gonna click on create secret key. You're gonna verify your account. I'm gonna do that in a second. And then you're gonna enter a name. So let's say, Kartra secret key and we're gonna click create and you will only see this secret key one time okay you will not see it any other time so what you want to do is you want to just copy that key come back into Kartra and paste it here you will not see this key again so make sure to save it in a private space or uh, you'll have to create a new one all right and you can enter a note for why you need this key but Kartra secret key title should be enough you're gonna click done and then here you have your secret key and that should be it for Stripe. So you can click on create and that integration is complete but we do need to do one more thing. We need to add this in our Stripe account. So you're gonna copy this, control C and then we're gonna come back here. We're gonna go into webhooks and as you can see, I already have this account here but let me see if I can delete it so we can start from scratch again. So you, you're gonna go to webhooks, you're gonna click add an endpoint, and then you're just gonna enter it over here, and you would enter the description. So you would say Kartra payment integration, and you would leave everything else as is. So you would leave it as your current version, events on your account, leave it as is, and click add endpoint. Oops, and we forgot to select the events. So you need to click on all events, and you have to select all events, okay? So all of this information will be taken back to Kartra, right? Especially the billing portal, because you need them to know what's going on with your billing, with your payments, so that the two connect. So you're gonna click on add events, and you're just gonna scroll all the way down here, and then you're gonna say add endpoint. And now you should see it over here. So if you go back to webhooks, you'll see the exact same one I had before. And that should pretty much be it, okay? So that that's done, you can click X and the two should be integrated. You can always click edit and you can make sure everything is here. So that is pretty much it for the Stripe integration. If you want to integrate PayPal, you're just gonna scroll down, select PayPal, click on new integration and you will need to connect to PayPal. So you're gonna log into PayPal and then there is a certain key like similar API key you will need to add. So let me go ahead and log out of my Stripe account and then we're gonna connect it to PayPal. All right, so we're gonna click connect and I'm just gonna go ahead and log into my PayPal account via this way. Sometimes you might get an error, which will say like 404 connection gateway error or something like that. Just refresh the page and refresh it as many times as you need for it to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on login and log into my PayPal account and I'll see you on the inside. So there you go, I just saw a bad request, right? So that's what I mean. So you just have to keep refreshing the page until it does work. Um, I don't know why this is happening, but gotta do it. All right, and so I was able to log in and it's asking for us to give permission to Kartra. So we do wanna say agree and consent. 
And now that that's done, it's automatically integrated. You can see the email has been added automatically, but we do need this PDP token. And if you're unsure what it is, you can click on again, technical documentation, but I'm gonna guide you to show you where to get it. So you do actually now have to log into your PayPal account. So what I'm gonna do is log in and I'm gonna show you where to look for once you're inside your PayPal account. And then once you are inside your PayPal account, you're just gonna click on account settings or you're gonna look for account settings wherever they are. You're gonna click on website payments and you're gonna look for website preferences. And then you're gonna go ahead and click update. And then PayPal is gonna give you this secret key here. So if you scroll down, you're gonna see this identity token and that's that token you need, okay? So you're gonna copy that token, come back here and add it here. And here, as you can see, it says PDT token, right? So that's that payment data transfer token that we need. Once you're done with that, you're gonna click on create and it's gonna say integration completed. And there you go, congratulations, you have integrated PayPal, Stripe. If you are using, again, any other payment processor like authorized net, just follow the same steps, guys. Click on new integration and just click on technical documentation read what they need so for this case likely you're gonna need to log into the site you're gonna need to look for these keys okay that's pretty much it so in the next section we're gonna go ahead and actually set up our product now that we've set these up and then we're gonna connect that product to our membership site and to our sales page all right uh, we're gonna do all of this via Kartra. It's an amazing all-in-one marketing software. If you guys don't have it already, if you head over to go.evonmeta.com slash Kartra, I give you a 30-day free trial and a 20% off on your first payment after the trial. So definitely take advantage of that offer. That said, I will see you in the next section.